Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about interstitial ads or full page ads using Google Ad Manager. I'm going to walk you through on creating ad units, creating orders, inline items, editing the code, deploying the code, how to test it, and we will discuss some frequently asked questions. Now, according to Google, the Google Ad Manager interstitial ad format is fully compliant with better ad standards. So it's considered non-disruptive to user experience. And it also runs on a very tight frequency cap, which is once per user per hour per domain. For publishers who have already tested it, it's been yielding around 15 to 20% revenue increase overall. But of course, performance could vary per website, taking into account other factors like your site speed, your user engagement, your site layout. To start creating the interstitial ad unit, log in to your ad manager account, go to inventory, ad units, create a new ad unit, keep the parent ad unit top level, give it a name. So for example, I'll name it test.com underscore interstitial. Copy for the code. And very important for the sizes, you have to include these three. 300 by 250, 320 by 480, and 336 by 280. 300 by 250 will run on mobile and desktop. 320 by 480 will run on all three, mobile, tablet, and desktop while the 336 by 280 will run on desktop and tablet. You can set the target window to underscore blank. So when the user clicks on the ad, it opens on a new tab, keeping your site still open. You can uncheck AdSense here if you don't want to run AdSense on dynamic allocation in the ad unit level, and you have the option to run it using an order and line item instead. I will be publishing another tutorial discussing about this in more detail. The rest here are optional. You can go ahead and save it. Now go to delivery orders and create a new order, or you may also choose to use a pre-existing one. Go ahead and give it a name. So for example, I'll be using AdSense for this one. I'll just name it like that. And I can also choose AdSense for the ad network. The rest here are optional. Go ahead and click Add Line Item. Select Display for the ad type. Give your line item a name. For the line item type, if you have linked accounts enabled for your account and you linked AdSense in there, you can run AdSense on dynamic allocation by choosing AdSense here as the line item type. Or if you have linked an ad exchange account, you can also choose Ad Exchange. But if you don't have linked accounts enabled for your ad manager, for example, and you just want to run AdSense, you can also choose to run it on price priority or you can run it on sponsorship. Next, very important for the creative sizes here. Again, you will have to target those three sizes that we have previously set up in the ad unit settings. So you're going to have 300 by 250. 320 by 480 and 336 by 280. You can set your start time and your end time. If it's in sponsorship, of course, you're going to set it to 100% of the impressions. If it's price priority, you're going to have to set it to or set the CPM rate that will determine its priority in the auction. You can review my tutorial on the line item types, and I'm going to post the link right here. All right, for the rate, we can start it with probably $3 for now. You can always modify this once you have your reports and make sure it reflects the actual performance so you can also get accurate reports in Google Ad Manager. And of course, we're gonna set this to CPM. You don't have to set the frequency cap manually because it's handled by Google from the back end. Again, it's set to once per user per hour per domain. But very important is the inventory targeting.
you will have to go ahead, target that interstitial ad unit you created earlier, because if you don't, it's not going to work. So it really has to be targeted here specifically. You don't need to specify device targeting either because Google will be the one to handle which appropriate size can be delivered on which device. It's all set. You can go ahead and save. Now we are going to need creatives here behind the line item. And you need three, right? These three sizes right here. So if you want to run AdSense on this, you go to your AdSense account, go to ads, overview, go to buy ad unit. Go ahead, create the display ad, and you will need to create three as well. So we're going to need first the 300 by 250. Don't use responsive because it's not going to work in Google Ad Manager. So choose fixed, specify the width and the height. And I'm just going to go ahead with the word test here to make sure. And I'll copy this, click create. All right, just click done for now. We're going to prepare all three. Next, we need 320 by 480. So 320 by 480. Create, done, and the last one, the 336 by 280, and click Create. All right, we're going to go ahead and copy this code snippet, and we'll choose 336 by 280 first, click New Creative, choose Third Party, paste the code and save. Let's go back to the line item and let's do the 300 by 250 creative third party. Let's go back to AdSense to look for that and it's right here. Get code copy back to ad manager paste it you can uncheck save frame no problem it's from google anyway click save all right back to the line item again and last size here 320 by 480 get code copy third party, save. It might take a bit of time for ad manager to update. So if you see needs creative in there like this, don't worry about it. Wait maybe five, 10 minutes and it should be okay. And if this is the first time you created the order, there will be an approve button here that you need to click to set it live. At this stage, your Google ad manager setup is all set. Now let's go ahead and discuss the codes or the Google Ad Manager tags that you need to deploy on your site. I'm going to post the link to this code guide right here. And when you open this page, click this right here, edit in JS Fiddle. Now I want you to pay attention to line 33 right here. So replace this with your Google Ad Manager header tag or your actual network code and ad unit code for the interstitial ad unit. So on your Google Ad Manager account, go back to your inventory ad units. Look for that ad unit you created earlier. So let's say this is it right here. Click on tags. Tag type, Google Publisher tag, continue. Just go ahead and continue again. And here in the header section or header tag, you will see that this is now your network ID and the ad unit code. Go ahead and copy that. And here, you're gonna have to replace this. Do not delete the codes, obviously, right there.
Next, pay attention to line 55. This is now where you define your static ad slots, meaning your regular banner ads that are not going to serve as interstitial. Maybe it's your regular 300 by 250 banner ad, sidebar ad, leaderboard, or mid-content ad. So if you have multiple static banner or regular banner ads, this is where you basically define all of them. So here's an example, um, header tag and body tags for my regular banner ad units. So if you look at the header tag here, I have three, ad unit A, B, and C, right? All you need to do here is copy this one down to the div ID without the codes. So copy the first one and let's go here, replace this one. All right, you can add another line. And this time you can still take this All right, and again, grab the next tag you have. Don't forget it has to include the last number there in the div ID. Very important. Again, replace this. All right, copy this entire thing and again. So copy and paste as many times as needed. So if you have three ad units, then you only need three there. If you need five, four, then you keep copying until you have defined all the regular banner ads that you have. So this interstitial ad right here doesn't need a body tag, right? But your regular banner ad will need a corresponding body tag. So it is very important that these div IDs right here would match the corresponding body tags. So you deploy these in the body section where they are supposed to show up. And you also have them here defined in the header. Now to deploy the tag, all you need to do here, once you're done preparing your code here or tags, copy from the opening meta tag, line number 20, down to the closing style tag. So it's going to be around right here. I'm not going to mention line number here because it could vary depending on how many tags or ad units you have defined here, right? So again, from the opening meta tag and down to the closing style script here, copy that. And if you are using WordPress and right here is the ad inserter plugin. You just go to the settings tab, go to header, and that's what you deploy right here. Once that's done, go ahead, enable and save. And don't forget, you still need to deploy the body tags for your regular banner ads. So go copy them here and on WordPress, look for a block, deploy them, target, set where they're supposed to show up and repeat the same for the rest of the body tags. Now to test it, open your site on a fresh incognito window and click an eligible link. And there it is. This is now the interstitial ad for desktop. There's an X button right here, which unfortunately we cannot customize at this stage. Maybe in the future, Google will give us some controls over that. And there it is, a 300 by 250 interstitial ad. Now let's go ahead and test it on mobile. You can do this on your mobile device. Just open an incognito browser. Or if you're using desktop, just right click inspect. And we'll try to emulate a mobile device. So turn this on. If it's off, it looks like that. All right, and choose the device you'd like to emulate here. So I'll just choose iPhone 10. And we are going to, again, click an eligible link. And there's the mobile interstitial ad. So there's the X button right here on the upper right hand corner again. And this one is a 300 by 250. So the user obviously has the option to close it and continue using the site.
Now for the frequently asked questions, when is a link considered ineligible to serve interstitials? When an ineligible link is clicked, the interstitial ad won't serve. Examples, those URLs without HTTP or HTTPS or links that open a new window, that's considered ineligible. Can we target the interstitial ad with the third-party price priority line items? Now, Google recommends targeting it with ad exchange only, but obviously you have the option to target the ad unit with third-party price priority like we just did earlier today. But make sure to test it first as Google doesn't have control over third-party creatives behavior. Can we customize the interface or the close button? No. So as mentioned earlier, there's no way for us to customize it. And Google has not yet released any interface to control that or any script or code CSS we can deploy to modify it. Can I run both AdSense Auto Ads vignette, which is also a full page ad, and the Google Ad Manager interstitial ad simultaneously? Will they overlap? The best way to find out is to test. But I don't necessarily recommend this type of setup. But if you want to find out which one performs better, then go ahead and test it and stick to whichever yields higher CPM, higher revenue for you. If this video helped you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more tutorials. See you guys.